Yo, it's 135 to beat Miami's do number one for hip hop, RB, and the Breakfast Club. My very special guest today, Skilly Bang. He's there. East Side. Now, now, explain to my audience what East Side is. Yo, it's not, it's not, it's not that, it's not about the United States East Side or any of that. It's just where I'm from in Jamaica is kind of an eastern part of the of, of the country. So you know that was because that's Saint Thomas, big up Saint Thomas. So that's where the whole East Side movement came from. You know, we just started to use it as as a whole worldwide movement, like a, a, whole, a whole African movement, Man. a whole everything. Because you know they said, look to the east. Yeah, yeah, to the hills. I remember Garnet Silk said that. Yeah, yeah, wicked. Let me tell you something. I gotta confess, yo, you have the wickedest name ever. Is there? Yo, how did you like? Who gave you that name, or how did you come up with the name Skilly Bang? Yeah, I gave myself myself that name. That name is self-explanatory by me, cause it explains me. It explains it. I'm the only meaning for that name. I am the I am Skilly Bang. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no other thing to tie yeah, it into. Yeah, yeah. There's not even a, 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 a legit definition for it. So how, that's wicked. Yeah, so, so like, but but something must have happened. Like I don't know if you was like vibing one day. Like what happened to make you like think of that name? No, when we were we was going to school, we used to listen to an artist called Flipper Mafia. Oh, Flipper, yeah, yeah, big up Flipper Mafia. Currently incarcerated, mm -hmm. Flipper said, yeah. But you know, we used to listen a lot of Flipper Mafia because Flipper was that hype guy who was throwing away all the money. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So he used to say that in some of his songs in the front. And we took it, we started calling each other it until it's, I, I started to use it as my artist name because I love the name. Yeah. You know, so everybody started calling me that it, it, it stuck on me. It bought, it bought, it bought, like, if, like it's incredible. I yeah, love man, the name. Yeah, man, yeah, man. And then it sticks. I mean, when I think of Skilly Bang, I think like, like you have style, you have skill, and then the bang is just like, you know? Gunshot. Yeah. <laughs> For real, man, it's wicked. Who are some of your, you talk about Flipper Mafia, who are some of your other influences uh, coming up in, in, you know, in Jamaica? Well, my, my biggest influence overall is Vibes Cartel. Mm. My other influence is music overall. I listen a lot of music. I listen to all, all kind of genres. I listen to a lot of artists. Even from a tender age, I used to listen. That's wicked. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I used to listen to every kind of genre from even a tender age. So a lot of people don't know, but like, you know, being an artist in Jamaica, it's like so many artists in Jamaica. It's such a small island, but so many talented people. So for you now to kind of rise above that says a lot, you know what I mean? Because there's so many, you know, Jamaica is saturated with, um, with talent and with artists. Um, what was the first time, who was the first person to take you to a studio and say, yeah? I was. What studio was that? Because I know Jamaica a little well. I started I started off recording myself at home on, on a small MP3. Then I moved up to trying to use the phone. Then I moved up to um recording in in the backyard of my of my friend's house. Oh wow! And that was sounding like trash because it was outside. Then I started to record at this um G studio named Dino Dean. Big up Dino Dean. Nice. I used to um go over there and pay Dino Dean. You know, hustle my money, pay Dino Dean to record some some stuff for me. And from there, I started to, like, venture to other um, good um, quality studios yeah. from there because yeah. I, I started getting addicted to quality and sounds. And when when when, when he would mix the songs, I, I would say, yo, that sounds mm. different. So that's when I started to um, focus on, yo, get, get into a proper studio. After that, it was East Side Records. And from, from there, it was just East Side Records. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Yeah. Uh, you just brought so much vibes to you know to 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 dance hall. You know what I mean? And dance hall has been going through so much changes over the years, and, yeah. and it's so good to see someone really taking control of it and, and bringing a new vibe to it. You know? Yeah, yeah, and 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 and, and bringing a different set of recognition. Uh, as you know, Skillebang Music has been doing a lot of work worldwide. I've been having a lot of new listeners. It, it, it's just becoming a whole international movement. Yeah. Talking about my career, just becoming a whole international movement and becoming a whole representation of a 
of a Jamaican or, the, or even the Caribbean. And I love it, man. I love it. Um, when you came out with the song, and um, how did that connection work with uh, with Crocodile Teeth and, and Nicki Minaj getting involved with that? Yo, all my songs just have been doing the work on their own. You know, people all over the world, my fans pushing them so um, important people could hear them, mm -hmm. like Nicki. Nicki liked it. You know, I don't know who made Nicki hear that song, but Nicki liked it. And she jumped on there. And and, 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 and that was just a banger from there. Wow. Yeah, that it was easy because my, my songs always be doing the work of their own, reaching places just because of the sound people could relate to it. Yes, yes, that's a fact. Yeah. Um, you signed to an American label now, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, signed to RCA. Big up RCA, guys. That, that's big. Um, yeah. Sometimes reggae, you know, dancehall doesn't always translate well. Um, you know, when artists get signed to American labels, sometimes, you know, you see little shifts and stuff like that. But I don't think that's going to happen with you. How no, do you, how no, do you, no. Yeah. It's, all, it's, all about, it's all about the work now because, you know, it's not only RCA that's involved in my career. I'm still with Eastside Record. I'm still with my bros, my, my, my brothers from day one. The energy is still right. We're still doing, creating good music. We're still creating bangers. We still have that energy. So yeah. nothing can to really change that. That's beautiful, and I hope it stays that way. Um, another thing, too, I, I spoke to Sean Paul a couple of weeks ago. He, he came there sitting in the same seat you were in, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I brought up um, Shansia um, because I know, you know, and, and not to keep drilling Shansia, it's just something that I can only talk to Jamaican artists about. Yeah. So since I talked to legendary Sean Paul about it, I wanted to bring it up with you. Yeah. Um, a lot of people felt the way that she went to pop too quickly. You know what I'm saying? Where she was still emerging as, as a female dancehall artist, and then she got the opportunity and she kind of went to pop really quickly. Now that you're in a similar position, how, how do you feel about that? Do you want to keep your authentic dancehall vibe, or are you looking to work with some hip-hop artists? Um, that's, a, that's a cheeky question, but I know how to answer it because I do music. I don't pick a genre. Mm -hmm. Um, my 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 culture is dancehall, so I'm I'm gonna be mostly doing dancehall music. Yeah. I'm gonna sound like dancehall. I'm gonna be speaking pato. I'm gonna be mixing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm a musician. I do all sorts of music, though. Mm -hmm. You know, so for like her, I don't see a problem with what she said, but she shouldn't make it sound like that. Cause you know, a lot of people don't understand why would she like. Stop doing that, or say she would. Cause I don't think she stopped doing dancehall. Yes. Right, no, she's right. not gonna stop doing dancehall, dog. But people just took the statement as a harsh statement, like a sellout statement. Right, right. No, but big up to Shensi. I said, yeah, she has a choice. Yeah. And Shensi is a great artist, so that was the advice, you know. She is. So big up to Shensi for your for your opinion. Yeah, and and at the end of the day, she still has a choice to continue doing dancehall music. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But you you answered that perfectly, and thank you. And I wasn't trying to set you up, you know. I just no, wanted man. your perspective on it because you're yeah, in the yeah. exact same position. Um, listen, man, I'm really excited about you know your your career, your works, man. I think you you know you've really um, shake things up in the business. I think the business needed a little shake up. You know what I mean? We have we've had people who've been carrying down so for quite a while, including one of your favorites, Vibes Cartel, yeah. Idonia, you know, Beanie Bounty, all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely, there's a there's a new era, you know of dancehall that keeps coming out every five, six years or so. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we get an emergence, and I, and I feel like it's really your time right now. How, how do you feel about being in that position and, 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 and holding that crown? Yeah, but I've been working on that position since since forever. Because that's, that's one of the main things I went into music for. Like, yo, why do I sound like this? And I'm here here with all this talent. So that's when I started to, like, go go hard, make sure I got songs, you know? It was always my responsibility to do that. Mm -hmm. I always felt that way. So it wasn't, it's no, it's no hectic feeling, you know? It's just, it's just like, yo, we accomplished something we were supposed to do, and we're going for more. I love it. A lot of time in hip hop and in dance hall music, because it's such an aggressive music, you know, there's usually beefs that come out of it because everybody yeah, yeah. wants to be the best, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, being now that you're, you're 
kind of like in that space where you can kind of like give somebody an elbow, like, yo, my time now, King, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, are you concerned with having beef with other artists or how, how do you plan to deal with any aggression from artists that kind of like want to knock you off the top? <laughs> no, as, 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 as my artists, what I say, when I really, they probably not look a joke thing with them artists, yeah? Gotcha. Like some look a frivolous band as vibes can tell what I say. But I don't think anybody would really want to be in a lyrical confrontation with Skilly Bang. As nobody can do study me. And if a person I really do that, nobody nobody says my name though. Everybody is scared. And it's a thing where nobody can know what I'm coming with next. So you you do a whole song going hard and I just come up with a song doing this, clapping, and breathing <laughs> on the rhythm and it's, it's, it's that, that's it. And it's gone. Yeah, so um I take that as a fun part of music and when it when it gets there, it gets there. I'm never scared of that. Right. Yeah, but I'm, not, 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 I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not in, into it with anyone. Now. Got you. I'm glad to hear that because you know how it is, man. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. there's six versus this and that and that. It's always no, a, no, no. It's it's all about music right now, you know, because the love I have for music, I listen to all all sorts of music as long as it sounds good. Yeah, and that's good music. It could go. Listen, man, Skilly Bang. It's usually w- until I have the opportunity to meet the artists and interview them. I really get to see where the head is at, and it's always a determination for me. Like, am I going to see this artist next year? I always say that to myself, yeah, meaning yeah. that is it going to be a one-time thing, or am I going to see them next year because they're bust, you know, mm-hmm. bigger than how you are now? Yeah. And I can say for sure on this interview that's going to be living forever that Skilly Bang, I'm definitely going to see you next year and the year after that and the year yeah. after that for sure, for and the sure, year for sure, after for sure, that. For sure. Let everybody know how they can connect with you. Um, you know, through your social media platforms. Well, everybody don't know YouTube, Skilly Bang, all of the new chat, then keep yourself updated, subscribe to my YouTube channel. First of all, you know, Spotify. Every every musical platform, Skilly Bang. We don't know Instagram, at Badevidia, B-A-D-E-V-R-Y. Same thing with TikTok. Facebook, Skilly Bang, said we. So... Did you, did you, did um, the label, did you guys pick a date to, to drop? For the album? Yeah. No. No, we didn't pick a date. Still in the beginning it's, it's, stages. It's, it's for the summer, though. Okay, nice. Nice, nice for the summer. It's going to be a skilly bang summer. Yeah, for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah. Uh, we're looking forward to it, man. Thank you so much for dropping by here on the show, coming to Miami. I know you were here for a show over the weekend. Um, but it's, it's always good to have you. And I know you was by my, my boys in them place last night, yeah. Euro. Um, so... Yeah, that, yeah, was, man. that was that was fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Pure vibes, man. You know, Miami loves you, bro. Yeah, I love Miami too. Miami is a vibe, you know? Yeah. Miami is a different kind of vibe. Yeah, man. Yeah, you kind of kind of have a Caribbean flex to it, too. You know? So, so there's a lot of homeland people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, even when you come to the radio, you talk to a Caribbean person. Yeah, even, <laughs> at, even at the front desk, there was yeah. a Jamaican there. Johnny! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's going to make his year. Big yeah. up, Johnny. Yeah, All right, Johnny. Skilly Bank, thank you so much. You just give a shout out to the audience there, man. Is it? Yeah, man, bless up to everybody we're tuning in. You don't know. 103.5. You got it. It's 103.5, the yeah, beat. Man. Is it?